Oh yeah, let's go. Hey everyone, this is Logan Davis, and welcome back to my channel. As you may guys know, this is my birthday, boys. I just turned 15, so now I'm Sonic's canon age. Pretty lit, huh? Anyways, um, so I just want to do a showcase video on all the stuff that I got for my birthday this year. And, um, just a heads up, I got some pretty cool stuff, I'll say. So, uh, time to show them off. Now, uh, just to clarify that some of these were given for me from my family members, and some of these I got at this place called Dave and Buster's that I went to this year. So, um, I'll show off the stuff that I got from my family members first, and then I'll show off the stuff I got at Dave and Buster's. So, uh, let's go. Okay, so you guys probably already know, my first gift that I got this year was Sonic Frontiers for the Nintendo Switch. And I'll say, this game is pretty good. I really like this. Some things are... A little bit bad, like the, um, the controls are pretty good. Definitely better than Forces controls, but uh, it's not amazing because it sometimes it has pretty bad camera angles and not amazing. The wall climb is a little bit bad, but I I'm s still getting used to it. And sorry if this camera is a little bit blurry. It <laughs> sucks, but uh, uh, just try not to focus on that. But anyways, uh, so yeah, guys, Sonic Frontiers. Oh, and no, I have not gotten to the Giganto boss fight where they play undefeatable. Probably the uh, best, best song in the game so far. And it is absolute giga chad. Hopefully I'll get to that song soon. All right, so next up we have the GE Emerald Plush. I am very glad I was able to get this plushie. This is a very odd plush. No, it's very good. I'll definitely say that. It's an awesome plush. But it is very oddly, because, like, it doesn't feel like a plush. It feels like a one of those m posable Sonic plushes, except it's not posable. That's fine. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty good plush. I really like this plush, and I cannot wait to use it in my videos when I come back from my break. Okay, so next up, we got this big boy, Giga Chat over here. We got... Storm the Albatross. We got this chunky boy <laughs> over here. And, uh, this is a very good plush. I'm glad that he does not have any, like, um, stitched on materials or embroidered stuff like what most, like what GE's doing with their mod, with their newer plushes. Like, instead of using this kind of sticker like material that they have on here, they're, like, using everything and it's always stitched on and it looks stupid. They almost kind of did the same thing with Emerald here, except they just printed on the little three dots thing here. But I'm glad that Storm is perfectly fine. He's not have any of that. He still has the original. Here's his tag. It's a pretty generic tag. And, uh, yeah, Storm. Okay, so those are only the only Sonic pushes I got. But here are the, here's the, uh, one, one Sonic action figure I got. The Jack Specific Tails figure. And I'll say this... Tails looks like he's seen things. <laughs> he's kind of creepy, but in a cute way, and I kind of like him. So, whatever. I just don't like the mouth on these Tails figures that look so stupid. <laughs> but not bad, though. So, um, I'll, um, leave him over there. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's mostly it for the Sonic stuff. So, next up we have... Fun Nights at Freddy. So we have this thing called the tie-dye plushes from Funko, where they're weird freaking colors. <laughs> and, uh, right here we got this, it's Funko FNAF plush. So, pretty good plush. Definitely, uh, pretty good. Uh, I don't know why Funko made this tie-dye series, but I like it. Next up, we have this absolute adorable plush. This is definitely one of my favorite FNAF plushes of all time. <laughs> This cute little, little baby, little tie-dye chica. This is actually, like, a really cute plushie, and I actually really love this one. Like, this is, like, a super good plushie. It's, like, very well-stuffed, and I, it makes it look so cute. And this is actually really better than the original chica plush that they made. Like, a lot of people complained about the plush, the original version they released in 2016. It wasn't that bad, but... This one's actually really better. Now, if it was only colored yellow, then maybe it'd be pretty good. But other than that, it's a pretty good plush. Okay, so that's uh, it um, from all the stuff from my family. Shout out to my family. They're pretty cool. We're going to be just awesome stuff. So uh, next up, here's the stuff that I got from Dave and Buster's. 
So I got this weird horse thing from claw machine. Little little ones. <laughs> little ones. Uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. I only won this thing because there was nothing else in there I wanted to win, so I just got this out of boredom because I like horses. Or is that a pony? I don't know. Anyways, next we have, um, we got a sign. <laughs> I saw this thing and it was like amazing. <laughs> I like Psyduck, so there's that. Hey. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> next up we have, final, finally next up we have Squirtle. We have Squirtle plush over here. So yeah, so now um, I have almost all three of, of the original starters. I have this, a Bulbasaur, and I'll have a Charmander, but I have a Pikachu. So there's something. <laughs> but I can't wait to use these. I'm definitely going to use these in my Nintendo Plush Power series, which, by the way, don't worry, that series isn't dead, okay? It's it's just that it's hard coming up with scripts for those episodes. Because, well, I'm used to making Sonic stuff, so I'm not fully, like, have script or plot ideas for my series. But don't worry, um, Nintendo Plush Power isn't dead. It's coming soon. And fourth episode is coming soon. I know it's been like two months since I released the last one. Don't worry, that is coming out soon. So there we go, guys. That's all the stuff I got for my birthday. So very glad I'm grateful and glad I got the stuff. Oh wait, hold on. There's one more thing. Almost forgot about this, but I have um, not only a card. Hold on, I had to reach over and grab it. A nice card from my grandma. Thank you, grandma. And. The abominable snowman guy from Rudolph. He's a little decoration cool guy. And funny story. So about an hour or a few minutes ago, we were at Publix, and I found him, and I got him, and uh, the lady at the cash register, they gave it to us for free. Because, well, because <laughs> it's my birthday, I guess. And also, it's another thing. is just because The main reason is just because that, well, they didn't want to bother trying to figure out the price. <laughs> But they also gave it to us because, well, Christmas time and also my birthday. So, shout out to the, by some god miracle if she's watching this, shout out to the lady who gave it to me for free. And yes, it does play a song, but I'm not going to play it, otherwise I'm going to get a sweet, juicy, delicious copyright. So there we go, guys. That's all the stuff I got for my birthday this year. I'm very grateful for all the stuff I got. And I uh, can't wait for Christmas to see what else I got. But until that happens, I'll see you guys later. So now, got Storm, Team Babylon's finally complete. Got Emerald, I can put her, with, put him with cream. <laughs> I put her out called Emerald Girl. And, uh, maybe I'll use these for some FNAF plushes videos if I want to make some. What do you guys think? Should I make some FNAF plush videos? Anyways, that's it for my birthday. And, uh, there's only one way I can really end this video. You know what that is?